I got to watch just, let me give this a, a, little, a little context. Um, a few days ago, someone had sent a, posted a video from Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he's talking about anti-Semitism. And it moved me very much. Because a 12-minute clip, and he, as you know, comes from Austrian uh, ancestry, people that collaborated, and his own ancestors collaborated with the Nazis. And he's talking, and he's giving a very strong plea for that people should recognize where anti-Semitism can go and what has happened. He discusses his trip to Auschwitz and what he saw and everything that had been there in the camps and, and this, and how unbelievable, uh, how it the impact it made on him when he went there and so forth. What's interesting about the video is that he's talking to the, he says, I'm not making this to people that are, uh, that for people like myself to watch, like people, I'm, I'm not preaching to the choir. I am talking to the anti-Semites. This is my video. This is what I'm talking to you. He says, people who think that you're going to move ahead in life by finding scapegoats to, to brain your problems on. He says, that's the easy way in, in life. That's the easy way to get ahead. But you don't get ahead, he says. You know why? Because in the end, when you get ahead by putting other people down, you end up living a broken a broken life. He speaks about his own father. He says, I grew up with my father and I saw my father drink his way because he could not bear the pain that he lived with for all of his life. So he's interesting. It's, it's very powerful talk to the anti-Semites in which he's saying, you know what, you might kill a couple of Jews, but in the end, this is you're, you're going to live a miserable existence with holes in your soul on the deepest level. Whatever, that's his discussion. But one of the things he discusses at the end, he says, when I, when I was in Auschwitz and I was there to see what, to witness, I was, well, the thing that like lifted me up was there was one woman over there who was a survivor. And this woman told him that the Nazis, they can take away our, they took away our freedom. They took away our clothing. They took away our hygiene. They took away our, 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 our liberty. They took away, they even took away our bodies. But what they couldn't take from me, she, the way in her was, they couldn't take my mind. They couldn't take my mind. I couldn't subjugate my mind. And what I think it means more is obviously the spirit, the idea that she never succumbed. She never really felt that the Nazi could control her. And the reason for that, but what is the idea behind that? The idea behind it is because embedded in every single Jewish man or woman is a piece of God. And the, and, and, and the one who is unsubjugatable. Now, this was really from before Matan Torah. We had, before we had already from the others, from our forefathers, we had that spark. But that spark was not activatable. It was not, it was not re revealed in our bodies, in our human psyche, that we should have access to that, to that transcendental essence. By Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, by the going out of Egypt, God, in, God activated it. And how did he activate it? What's the activation of that? The activation of that is because we subjugated ourselves to become servants of God. And the, in our services, servitude to God, we preclude all servitude. Why? Because our servitude to God means we become servants of him. The servant belongs to his master completely, so much so that the servant is the identity of the master. Sages say, Yad Eved ki Yad Rabbi, or Eved Melech Melech. Translate that, the hand of a servant is the hand of the master. The, 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 the servant of a king is a king. So what that really means is that a Jew, that, that in the fact, in this itself, that we surrender ourselves completely to Hashem, to be, it's not just we will do godly things, but what we see ourselves as his boys and his girls, as his subjects, as his people, as his servants, in which our entire identity is to live for him, then our existence has suddenly been uplifted to become divine. In the sense that we are now included in God's infinity, and just like God cannot be subjugated by any force because he's the creator of all definitions, but he is above all the de definitions, so to each and every one of us, in that servitude to Hashem, and it doesn't make a difference how much we, pro we literally, now of course it makes a difference, but in our essential servitude, it's true about all the Jewish, by Sinai, by, by Yetzirah Mitzrayim, God chose us as his servants. By Har Sinai, by Sinai, we chose God to be his servants. That connection is an absolute bond. It can never be eradicated, can't be changed. And the proof to that is, had we been really shattered, had we really been slaves, had we really been able to be subjugated by the Nazis, by the communists, by the Romans, by the Inquisition, had we really been, and that's a, and explain to me how 50 60, 70, 80 years later, after such 
unbelievable crushing experience, the Jewish people swing back and we swing back with such power, with such energy, with such unbelievable, uh, to the point that, that, that Jews and the Jewish people are so relevant in the world, so powerful in the world. The news is constantly about Jews. It's, con it's like, again, to the peaks of importance from being literally uh, uh, thrown under the bus is not even the word completely. How did it happen? It's because even when we were in the, in the depth of Auschwitz, the Jew spirit never caved in because essentially a Jew can't be subjugated to anybody because there is someone who were subjugated to before that or deeper than that. And once you are already belong to someone, no one else can take you. If that, if that being is God. So in this case, that's what Hashem says, Shtari Kom. We went out of Egypt. What does Moshe say? Send out my people, they will serve me. The whole thing was about serving, because by serving Hashem and becoming his servant, you become, we become essentially liberated.